Okay. Hey YouTube. So, uh, I'm going to do a quick video. Um, on uh, making a homemade um, spice sauce or, or hot sauce, I should say. Just with what I have. I don't have, I didn't really plan on it. So it's, it's going to be what I have here. I've got a couple of hot sauces there. I got this one, but I'm going to make a homemade one. It's pretty, it's pretty simple to do. Well, that's what I was looking for. A little bit of hot mustard. So I have some serrano and jalapeno peppers. Just about, I think, two of each. And I boiled some water. I, I split them open. I took the placenta and the seeds out. So I don't want the seeds in the hot sauce because they don't grind up well and they, I, I hear, I hear they can be bitter. So I just don't use them. Uh, so I turn the heat off. It's just in hot water. That's just to soften it because I'm going to be blending it with this in this glass here because I'm, I'm making a small amount. So but I want to add some carrots to it because I have some baby carrots. I wouldn't add like full grown mature carrots to it. Um, they're just, they're too woody, they're too tough. I mean, you can cook them, I guess, and make them tender. But I'm going to add, oh, I picked the perfect time to go out. I just got out of the shower. My hair's wet. Why not go out in the cold in the rain? Yeah, maybe I'll get sick. Okay, so let's make this fast. I got three or four in the kitchen. So here are some carrots. <laughs> oh, it's freaking cold. Uh, yeah. Oh, this is a good one. There's a good one. You know, when they have the smaller stalks, they tend to be bigger carrots. Wow, look at that. Impressive. I think that's all I'm going to need. Let's see, one more. I don't want to waste uh, one more. I got a few in the kitchen. Wow, doing well. The bigger stalks, like right there, actually have smaller carrots. That's just kind of how it goes. They use more of the energy to grow the green than they do the, the root. So as you can tell, it's the rain's really picked up. It's four o'clock, uh, January second. You know, I was gone for the weekend, and I came back yesterday. Would celebrate New Year's a little bit, and whatnot. Okay, so I have some carrots there. I have to clean these. And let me set this up. There's that. So I'm going to clean the carrots. So <clears throat> all I do, it's pretty simple. I'm just going to give them a quick chop. And that's just to get the, the stem end off. Oops. And uh, the frizzy uh, root tail. And then cut in half. Put in here. Put in here, just to soften them, because I'm going to blend them, and I want them to turn into a puree, you know, for the sauce. I mean, they're pretty soft because they're immature carrots. You know, and because they're immature carrots, they're not too fibrous. And, you know, like I said, I, don't, I want to use the word woody, but woody is when, really when they're past their prime. And these, even full size carrots, are, I mean, they're not woody when they're in their prime. But I mean, just a softer flesh, so to speak. Okay, so there, there's that. That's kind of like some of the preparation that goes into it. Um, it's in the pot. And they're just going to get soft in this hot water. I might turn that back on for a minute to speed it up. And there's probably not much point. I'm probably going to just stop the camera. Well, I'll keep the camera rolling, but when I edit it, this, I might edit this part out, the, the, waiting for this to soften up. 
is, you know, is probably the part that I'll leave out. Um, but I could show you how I'm going to prepare the um, the liquid part for the hot sauce. So you take this mustard here, and that's Coleman's an English mustard. I'm a big fan of spicy English mustards. They're they're more intense with their flavors, and uh, that. That's, that's one of the main reasons I like them. I mean, I also like Dijon. And you can use Dijon in this recipe if you wanted to. Um, mm, oh, man. It is spicy. Wow. That is intense. <clears throat> then white vinegar. Heinz. White vinegar. I'm going to start with that much. And then kind of the secret to this, for me anyway, <clears throat> is uh, regardless of what that says, that's no longer in here. This is a custom blend. And it's got a whole variety of things in it that I put in it. And I, I'm not going to go over the whole list. Sometimes I don't even remember everything I put in there. But it does have cumin. It has onion powder. Uh, has some cinnamon it has paprika which is really like this that some of this stuff in there slap your mama the original blend um, it's it's got my salt garlic and black pepper uh, seasoning a little bit of that but not a ton because you you can season that at the end um, like I said it's cumin um, onion powder, um, and, you know, one or two, oh, uh, dry mustard powder uh, on top of the, uh, Coleman's a little bit of dry mustard powder. And sometimes I put like the turmeric or a little bit of ginger. I, I would put pure ginger in it. Uh, I don't know if I have pure ginger. I have ginger in, actually, maybe I do. Turmeric, just turmeric. Do I have ginger? Yeah, I do have ginger. So ginger is perfect. Um, I haven't even opened this yet. Ginger is a perfect spice to put in your hot sauce. So let me add a little bit of this to the mix. And again, I mean, <clears throat> I may edit some of this out. I could have prepared this a little bit better. Sorry, I didn't think about the ginger to the last second. So I'm gonna put that's that's a big teaspoon. That, I, I mean this is a tablespoon, but what was on there was like a teaspoon. Well you can really smell that ginger. So with the ginger I need something to kind of offset the bitterness. <clears throat> so there's a little bit of coconut sugar in this. So I'm going to add some of this. I'll start with that. Well, a little bit more. And I can smell that. That smells good. And then a little bit of the smoked salt for that smoky flavor. And this goes a long way. Remember, uh, a hot sauce is supposed to be very concentrated. And the amount of heat that you want it, it's just when you're making it your making it yourself it there's no rules you just make it the way you want to make it and then I'm gonna add a, uh, usually I would add some tomato salt or either a tomato but I don't want to add a tomato because the only tomatoes I have have the one tomato has a lot of water in it it's not aroma it's not a dry tomato so I don't want to add that and I have this, which would be perfect. And this doesn't have any sugar in it, so that's cool. And I like that's why I buy this. This is just really intense tomato sauce. But I'm going to, once I break this seal, I got to put it in the refrigerator, and, it, and even then, it doesn't last that long. It'll get mold. And I don't want to open that until I'm going to make spaghetti or some type of pasta dish. 
so I'm just going to use this because it's not adding any more sweetener, really. I mean, it might have a, maybe it has a different type of artificial sweetener, in it, but I'm going to add a little bit of this. First of all, it's a little bit, a little of the color goes in there, a little body to it, and a little bit of a tomato uh, flavor. So there's that. And then I'll just pre-mix this. If you watch my video on how I made mayonnaise, I, I did the same thing with same same glass, same blender. Okay, so there's that. Did this fall over? I better take it out. If I don't take it out, I'm gonna have a disaster. Okay, so I'm gonna take this off just for a few moments, and then now I'm going to. I'm gonna drain these. Right here. Just like that. Cool them off. I don't wanna add heat. I make the sauce hot, there's no reason to. Ooh. I just breathed it into my gut my throat. <coughs> the serrano <coughs> now the <penis. coughs> That's why mostly the serrano. Oh man. Burn. Wow. That is an intense. Okay, so now I gotta get this into that glass. And maybe it's best if I bring the glass over. I wanna clean the sink from the debris from the garden, the dirt. I can at least get it to that side. So if I, yeah, anything I spill, I don't want any grittiness in there. Okay, so here we here we go. I'm gonna take this, pour it into there. I should get most of it. And now I did. I got most. Of it. This, 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 and this, and take this back over here. You know, it might be better just to do it right here. Bear with me. Okay, so let's get... I'll set this camera up here now. So I can use two hands. And I will show you the process. It's pretty simple. So if this cord is long enough. Bring it around this way. Bring it here. And go. before it should always be you know relatively, relatively thick it should be and not watery and that's just gonna be not adding too much liquid to your solids and that's one of the reasons I put the carrots in otherwise I'd have to put a lot more peppers in and although I could put some cold peppers in like sweet peppers I just don't want to overdo it with the peppers I don't have them anyway but um so now you can see the consistency, or let me get a spoon and show you. So there it is. Now the color is a little, you know, dark and weird, but that's how a lot of sauces are. So let me taste it. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, that's hot. Oh, man. Oh, that is so good. That is good. I mean, I've never tasted one like that. Exactly. 
And of course not, I mean, because I just made it. Now, I had a glass container. I saved some of my pepper glass containers, but I don't know what happened to it. Um, I don't know what happened to it. I don't know where, where if it's put in the box somewhere, I don't know where it's at. So, I don't have it. Okay, so, <clears throat> it's not that much. I'm just going to, I'm going to add, I'm going to put it in a, pot, a container and put it in the refrigerator anyway. So, let me just get this. And I'll add it to this. Oh, wow, that's good. I know I got my germs in it, but it's for me. It's for the house. So there it is. I just want to show you how quick and easy it is to make it. I didn't even have it planned. Um, I had enough stuff around here to make it, which is really cool because I, I wasn't going to go to the store just to make this. So here it is. I'm going to punish myself some more. Mmm. It's smoky. It's a little bit sweet. You can always add honey to it, but this is this has a touch of sweetness, and um, that's all I really want. I want that vinegar to stand out, which it is. I want the peppers to stand out, which they are. The carrots I don't taste. They help to add the color, and that's why the color is what it is, is because of the carrots. The carotene. But you know, the carrots add body to it. I don't directly taste the carrots, which is a good thing. I don't want a carrot hot sauce. So they're very neutral in this. The, the other flavors are just so overpowering that you just don't taste it. And you know, they're they're baby carrots from my garden. They're growing in a in, in a cool fall and winter uh, environment. So they're not going to be really intensely flavored. They're going to be mild, especially when they're young like that. They tend to taste a little bit more uh, stronger for some reason when you grow them in early spring. But it is what it is. I mean, they're just per they're perfect for this recipe. And you could add onions to this and, you know, and, and pulverize that in there with that uh, if you wanted to. Um, you, you can add some honey. Honey works. Honey's in a lot of sauces in a small amount. It's a good thickener. And if you, if you, if you don't have anything that's adding sweetness to this and you want a little bit of sweetness, you could blend this all up, taste it, and then while it's in the glass, add your, your honey to it in small amounts until you get the, and, you know, blend that real quick. And then until you get the desired sweetness from the honey. Um, because the honey, you can easily overpower it if you just put a, a tablespoon of honey in there. You could, then you'd be like, well, how do you get it? You can't get it out, you know, so you'd have to make more sauce to overcome it. Or add salt or something else, and then you're just off your recipe. Um, this has salt in it. it, it I, I, I told you I have, I, have, I already pre-made a spice that is perfect for this hot sauce. And that's basically what this spice is used for. I don't really use this for cooking. I have other uh, blends that I use. This is a pretty intense blend with a lot of spice. And you want your, like I said, you want your hot sauce concentrated anyway. Th this, this has everything that I like to, in a hot sauce. It's a really good base. And you could use any kind of chili peppers you want. You could just, you don't even have to make hot chili peppers. You could just use sweet peppers, bell peppers, um, what are Anaheim's or Fresno, which what, uh, they got a little bit of heat to them, but not too much. Well, Anaheim's not too much. Um, banana peppers, you know, the, I mean, the list is long on what you could add to it. So then I'll seal this up. We'll put it on eggs. Uh, <laughs> you could you could sprinkle a little bit on a, You could bake a potato and put a little bit on top if you wanted to. It's a good substitute for like what you traditionally might use sour cream, you might use butter, you might use, you know, you might salt something or whatever, or you want, you, you could use this. It doesn't have to be put on a taco, but we're going to make fajitas tonight, or I am. 
So I'm gonna. That's why I made. That's the reason I made this is I wanted to. Even though I have some hot sauces, I wanted to make my. Before those chili peppers went bad, I wanted to make a sauce. Um, and we're and then uh, I'm gonna use it some of it tonight. But like I said, you could use it on. It's great on eggs. Um, I I can't think of everything else you could you could put it you could. You could you could boil your chicken in it, which is a very uh, healthy way to cook your chicken. Like um, I don't recommend bo uh, boiling breasts because they get tough. But you could softly boil, gently boil, or simmer uh, chicken thighs, bone, uh, skinless chicken thighs, and, and and which is the healthiest way to eat chicken. And I do that a lot. And then you can add this to it and give it a real good flavor. It doesn't add a ton of calories. Uh, because boiled chicken could, with just salt and pepper could be somewhat bland. You could put this over rice, any kind of starchy food, really. Um, so use your imagination. I, I just wanted to show you how easy it is to make a hot sauce at home. And once you make one, then you can experiment, and add different flavors, keep track of what you're adding and how you're doing it. And you can come up with some tremendous sauces that just suit your taste buds. And you don't have to buy them in this kind of quantity anymore. And there's nothing wrong with this. I like it. That's why I have it. Or like this. These, these things... Um, uh, go to your, you can go to a Mexican store and there's a, they have there's one not far from us and they got a really good choice of things and the prices are pretty reasonable on most of them, but they're still expensive. And then if you go to a regular grocery store, it's a little more limited on your choices, and they are expensive. And there are some that people make like almost like homemade recipes, but it they're not cheap. This is I made that for if you added it all up. I mean this. A couple bucks for, for this. So it's it's cheaper, especially if you eat a lot of hot sauce. But the primary reason is you know what's in it. You know exactly what's in it. It's fresh. And you can flavor it. Again, you can flavor it just the way you want it. So um, for people who like to cook at home, and, it, you know, I'm sure a lot of you have done this before. But if not, um, you know, branch out. Do stuff like this. It's, it adds a lot of spice to, and, and interesting flavors to your food. I wanted to do a video. Of, at, so I'm sitting around at home and I thought it might be interesting that someone might find it useful. Okay.